The world's largest reef should look something like this, but storms, boat groundings and coral die-off see sections break off into rubble. It's accelerating with climate change. We're getting more rubble patches growing over time because we're getting more coral die-off. So we want to stabilise those broken pieces of coral on the seabed so that the coral larvae and the, and the marine life can return and naturally start to regrow that reef on that now stabilised and, and uh, solid seabed. That's where Professor Leone Barner's team comes in. They've developed a glue-like substance that works underwater. We need to be really, really careful about what we are introducing into the reef because we want to save the reef and not harm the reef. The result is a sticky goo that can bind broken corals together. It's biodegradable, it's sustainable and it's potentially scalable. So all those things are really, really important for reef restoration. One component that we are using is actually a plant extract. Um, so it's, a, it's coming from a natural resource. For now, scientists are using syringes and giant glue guns to apply this sticky putty. But it's hoped that a fleet of underwater robots could be used to stick clumps of coral back together on a mass scale. Having a very stable, solid uh, seabed is really important for reef recovery. George Roberts, ABC News, Brisbane.